Hello students, today we will learn about categories of computers and computer languages. Students, you carry different types of bags to different places depending on your requirements. For example, when you go to school, you carry a school bag in which you keep books, notebooks and other necessary items. When you go for some sports activity, you carry sports equipment in a sports bag. Likewise, you have the options to select computers that suit your needs. These computers are designed and categorized with respect to their size, speed, storage, capacity and cost. Lady Ada Lovelace, a mathematician, is regarded as the first computer programmer. She was the daughter of the famous English poet Lord Byron. Okay students, let us talk about types of computers. Let us first discuss about the different types of computers. Microcomputers. These computers are small in size and cost less. They are usually designed for personal use, therefore they are also called personal computers or PCs. Examples. Commodore 64. IBM PC. They are mainly used in homes, schools, offices, shops, banks, etc. Following are the various microcomputers that are given different names according to their usage. Desktop computers. These computers are designed to fit comfortably on top of desk. Desktop computers typically come with several units such as monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse which are connected to each other and work like a single unit. Laptop computers. These computers are small in size and can be placed on the lap. These are battery operated and portable. We can perform all the tasks on it as we do on a desktop. But laptops are more expensive than desktop computers. These computers are mainly used by people who travel a lot. We can fold down the screen of laptop onto the keyboard when not in use. Laptops usually have 13 to 15 inch screen. Tablet computers. These computers are smaller and lighter than laptop computers but bigger than smartphones. Instead of a keyboard and a mouse, tablets use touch sensitive screen for typing and navigation. Tablets have 7 inch, 8 inch or 10 inch screen. Popular uses of tablets include reading, ebook, watching movies, viewing photos, browsing net, etc. Palm top computers. A palm top computer is a small device that can fit in the palm of your hand. The device has similar features as that of a computer. It has a small screen and compressed keyboard. Some of these computers replace a keyboard or mouse with a pen that serves as the input device. Handheld devices. Devices that are small in size and can easily be held in the hand are called handheld devices. They can be conveniently carried in the pocket. Smartphones, tablet computers are a few examples of handheld devices. The handheld computers are also called personal digital assistants, PDAs. These devices either have a touch enabled display screen as their input or output interface or a simple display unit with a keyboard. Like a desktop computer, these devices can be used to perform any task. Smartphone A smartphone is a handheld device that combines features of a personal computer with other common features of a mobile phone. It can be used for making and receiving calls, text messaging, emailing, web browsing, capturing and viewing videos, gaming and much more. Game Console A game console is a device used to play interactive video games. This device is equipped with a display screen, game controls, joystick, buttons and speakers. It can also be connected to a television or a computer and in that case, the user interacts with the game through a handheld controller. Examples of game consoles include Microsoft Xbox, Sony PlayStation, Nintendo Game Club and Nintendo Y. Embedded Systems an embedded system is one that has a computer hardware with software embedded or implanted into a larger device. 
It comprises of all the essential computer components like CPU, RAM, ROM, input and output medium but does not have disk drive, keyboard or screen. It is designed to perform a specific task, for example TV sets, vehicles, telephones, digital cameras, washing machines, microwaves, printers, dishwashers and medical equipment are the devices that are controlled by embedded systems. Embedded systems are also called microcontrollers. Students, let us understand the concept of embedded computers with the help of the given example. In a microwave oven, the role of embedded system is to take instructions from the user through the keypad and translate them into commands. These commands are then passed on to the microwave to obtain the desired output. Suppose you want to cook noodles in a microwave. You will put the ingredients in a bowl and place that bowl on the glass tray. Set the timings for it and press the start button. The microwave will stop as per the timing set for cooking the noodles. All this is handled by the embedded computer of the microwave. Mini computers these computers are bigger in size than the microcomputers, typically being the same size as that of a refrigerator. They have a higher processing speed and are costlier than microcomputers. These computers are capable to support about 4 to 200 users simultaneously. They are used in banks, universities, and in other big organizations. For example, PDP 8. HP 2100, MicroVax 3100. Mainframe computers. These computers are very powerful. They are big in size with a large memory and high speed. They are designed to tackle huge amount of data. More than 100 users can use a mainframe computer simultaneously. These computers are used in a networked environment. Mainframe computers are very expensive and are mainly used for bulk data processing in large business organizations, universities, banks, scientific laboratories, airline and railway ticket reservations, stock exchange markets, etc. For example, IBM Z series, PDP 10, and System Z 10. Supercomputers They are the most powerful computers with a huge processing speed. These computers are used for weather forecasting, space research, satellite control, etc. For example, C-Ray 1, C-Ray 2, Param, Tianhe 2, Sunway, Tianhu Light, etc. Students, let's know more. Sunway, Taihu Light is the world's fastest supercomputer. It is developed by China's National Research Center of Parallel Computer Engineering and Technology NRCPC. Param is a series of supercomputers designed and assembled by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, India. The latest machine in the series is the Param Kanchanjunga.